Okay, here's what we got so far. We got our windows and our rollers. Let's go ahead and make our power tanks. And God Almighty, I've tried to do this three times and messed up. And it's not that it's hard. It's completely one of the most simplest things on this model we're going to build. It's just, I don't know, just having one of them days. So let's get started, and hopefully this time we'll be okay. So let's grab a cylinder on a new mesh, and let's drag out a cylinder. I'm going to make it 210 millimeters, about 210 millimeters. This is not to scale, so yours will probably be different than mine. Let's um, drag this up like so to make a tank. Okay, let's click it and select it. Copy and paste it, and let's bring over the double. Okay, now let's select this top polygon. Copy it with Command C. Get a new mesh. Paste it. Okay, so now we got this one little circular plane here. Let's scale it up a little bit, like so. And we'll run the thicken tool on this bad boy and thicken it up a little. Like so. And we'll use our C key to get edge slice. And we're going to slice right down the middle on both sides. Because that's the way it's got to be done. <laughs> of course, it can be done any number of ways. Okay, now let's just grab one side of our circle here. And what did we do last time? We cut it out with Command X and pasted it right back in with Command V. Selected this side, pulled it over. Okay. And then we grabbed our edges. And we bridged them. Okay, now we have that bracket there. And I can grab this bracket. Bring it down to about right there. I'm going to copy and paste it and bring down another one back to the bottom. Like so. Now let's grab this polygon. Let's see. Grab this polygon, this polygon, this polygon, this polygon. Bevel them out in the Z and then scale them in on the X to give us that tank look. Then we're going to shift click and pull in our tops and bottoms like that. So let's go in and run some loop slices. Excuse me. Around the edges to shore everything up, which I have on slice selected. We don't want that. We want to slice everything. So let's set. Okay, now let's go around real quickly with alternate C. I'm going to run these loop slices right around where I feel they need to be run which is around most of the flat it's pretty common sense to figure out where they go um, just the flat parts that you want to stay smooth okay now let's see what we got yes we need to run some loop slices up to here And I want to scale these up a tad more because when you sub DM, they're going to get smaller. There we go. Now we have our power tanks and we have our braces. So let's move this right in here. Like right, so. And I'm going to rotate the whole dang thing like that. And we can bring it up here like so. Now we have our power tanks. And actually, I think they're a little small. So, let's raise them up a little bit. Bring them bigger. And we'll take her back. And right there we go. There's our power tanks. Now what we need to do is, we're going to go in here. And we're going to attach our power tanks to this seat hole. Okay, but we're going to do that later. We're not going to do that right now in case I need to move this seat around. Okay, and we're also going to make this few of these not everything on this mech is going to be animatable okay the it's just not but for still shots for animation still shots it's like if you want a close-up of the guy inside 
and while it swivels, this top part can be animated. These windows and rollers could probably could be animated. This window here will be animated. And uh, let's see here. There's the pivot for those two right there. And what I want to do is if we move these pivots up here, that it'll swivel from right here. So um, if I can find, let's see. There they are. That's what I was looking for. The pivot for those is right down here. So we can grab that pivot. Bring it up. I'm going to stick it right on the tip here of this thing in the middle. Right about right there looks pretty good. Well, that's all over a little bit. Off a little bit. Let's put it right here. Now, I can go to my action center pivot. And when I rotate this thing, it's going to rotate right around right there so it can go and the guy can get out and it goes and the guy can get back in, you know. So, uh, all right, there's our power tanks. Let's move on to the next part.